Hello all, welcome to Oracle Fusion Hub's ADF tutorials and uh, in this particular tutorial you would um, uh, actually learn about uh, creating um, uh, reusable components in ADF uh, application and uh, use those uh, reusable uh, uh, ZAR files in other um, uh, ADF applications. So um, in order to demonstrate this we need a J developer and uh, please note that uh, I am using Oracle J developer uh, version 12c and uh, hence there might be uh, cases where uh, the UI uh, the feature options that uh, I show here might differ uh, uh, with the features that you uh, see or the navigations you see uh, in your uh, uh, J developer version so um, if that's the case then um, please note that i'm using a uh, uh, 12c version and you might be using a lower version so uh, in order to demonstrate uh, uh, this reusable component feature uh, i'm going to create a new application and that would be adf fusion application click on ok now i would name this uh, uh, reusable component as something like common czar common czars and then um, I would uh, prefix it with com dot oracle fusion hub dot common czars and uh, I would leave the project name and the view controller name as is click on finish so now I would scroll it a little bit further so now I have a model and view controller created. So this would act as a common uh, ZAR files for my uh, other ADF applications. So right now I'm not going to write anything into this model and view controller. You can in fact uh, create your own page templates. You can in fact create your own uh, uh, BC4J uh, UI, I mean BC4J uh, implementation methods or whatever. So right now I'm not going to do that and probably in the subsequent uh, tutorials I might show you like how to uh, add other uh, methods or uh, the page templates or the page fragments to this common and uh, call this uh, uh, components from uh, a regular ADF application. So for, for, for this particular tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy this particular common czar file uh, common czar application as a czar uh, uh, file and uh, how to call that particular uh, czar file or the import per that particular czar file into the adf uh, application so right now um, uh, just click on view controller and uh, uh, click on the deployment and you see a default deployment profile that gets created and let's let's uh, see what what this does so this is actually a var deployment profile and uh, we are not going to use the var but we are going to use the zar file so if you look at the, the uh, extension this is a var uh, uh, deployment file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this particular deployment profile and i'm going to create my own uh, deployment profile and i would name this as common zar deployment profile and this is ADF library ZAR file. I'm, I'm just going to create a ZAR file. Click on OK. And uh, in the ZAR file, give a proper location where you want to see your ZAR file located. So um, I'm going to put this in uh, um, somewhere. Okay. Um, all right now, I'm going to put it in my uh, my work common ZARs. So that would uh, suffice. So I think, uh, uh, okay, I would put it in uh, common jars and uh, I would name this as common jars dot jar. So I think this would uh, make it a little bit normal. But again, it depends on how you want to organize your stuff. So click on OK, click on OK and save it. 
So now you have a deployment profile ready, and you know where your ZAR file is going to uh, situate, going to be situated. Right. So right click on View Controller and click on Deployment, Deploy, and then click on Common ZAR Deployment Profile. When you are going to import, I mean, when you are going to deploy View Controller, uh, model will all automatically gets deployed. So you don't need to uh, do that. So deploy to ADF library ZAR file. That's the action that we have. Um, selected and it's going to be uh, and moreover cancel before that uh, you go to uh, the view controller edit it and uh, um, here it should be build output you, you should be for each dependent object to decide whether to include its build output directly in the library or not so uh, uh, for our deployment profile, you should include build output. So that's fine. I'm okay with this. So now deploy it and click on finish. And click on deployment profile and you will see where it is actually deployed. So this is deployed somewhere here. What I'll do is I'll just go to this particular path. And here look at this common zars.zart file it's been created so now uh, that's it i'm going to close this application right now and i'm going to create a new application which would actually use uh, uh, this so what would i say uh, demo ui would be my application and i would prefix with com.oracle fusion hub dot demo ui which would be this thing click on next I'm going to get it done so now I have created a, a demo UI application and uh, now here I want to import the already created ZAR file how do I do that so you go to the resources tab and if, if you can't find this resources tab here go to windows and uh, uh, see resources tab here and uh, if your version is a little lower version than this you might find this resources somewhere here in view if I'm not wrong so here click on this uh, new button and IDE connections and click on a file system um, write your file system as common ZARS and your uh, this thing would be the already the path that you selected and click on text connection it would be success mostly and click on ok so now when you open the file system you will have other folders but I mean this is not the way to do it you you, you might be doing it in a different way like you you create a deployment folder and place all the ZAR files there so that you don't see all this extra um, folder details but but never mind uh, the, you still see this common zars.zar with a with a uh, library bookshelf uh, icon so now this is what we need so you go to the model you, you click on something some project which in which you want to import this particular uh, common zars and you, you click on that and then click on common zars.zar and uh, simply put add to project and here it says do you want to add library common zars to project model yes i want to that's it so now the library has been imported to your uh, regular project and now you can uh, refer the contents of this common judge in any way you want to do not just the common judge that you have created but uh, you can import uh, any other apis third party apis like this uh, uh, for example you want to include Facebook uh, uh, authentication uh, API then just just get the ZAR files from from the Facebook uh, and then put those ZAR files I mean into your local machine import them uh, in the same way as you did right now so this is pretty much uh, on how to create reusable components and uh, import them in your uh, application um, probably in the next uh, tutorial I would be um, discussing about uh, how to uh, write some methods in the common file and then import them in your application and probably I would also include the BC4J 
substitution classes as well base classes if i if you call it that way and um, probably yeah that's it so thanks thanks all for watching this video have a nice day